52 years ago, on the 20th July 1969, something amazing happened. It began when the Apollo 11 mission blasted in. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, we'll get to that part. But first, we need to rewind to the 1940s, where Russia and the USA were involved in a Cold War. In this war, there was no fighting, but both countries were competing to create better con technology. Ah! Part of the Cold War was a space race. USA versus Russia! On your marks, get set, go! Yeah! In 1957, Russia launched Sputnik. Sputnik is a satellite. It's something that orbits something else. That's right. What does orbit mean? Circles around something like the Earth orbits the sun. And the winner is Russia! Yeah! 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 Later that year, Russia sent a dog into space called Blaker. This amazing dog paved the way for humans to explore. Wow! The winner is Russia! Yeah! Yeah! He circled the earth twice in an hour and a half. Russia, Russia wins, wins again. again. And once again the winner is Russia! 3-0! Yes! Yay! President Kennedy promised the Americans that they'd send a man to the moon by the end of the 60s. And guess what? They did! And finally, the winner is America! <laughs> Eventually, the USA and Russia ended the Cold War and decided to be friends. Okay, now you're all caught up. You may now continue. Okay, thanks. So, July 16th, 1969, the crew of Apollo 11 blasted off into space. On board there were Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. After orbiting the Earth, the rocket blasted towards the moon. Four days later, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong got into the Eagle Lunar Module. They separated from Michael Collins, who flew the command module around the moon. They struggled to find a safe place to land because there were boulders everywhere. Finally, they found somewhere that didn't have any boulders in the way. But they only had 25 seconds of fuel left. Bad quality base here. The Eagle has landed. Later that night, Neil Armstrong climbed out and, and was the first man to walk on the moon. He said, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Everyone on Earth watched in amazement. Buzz Aldrin placed the American flag on the moon. Neil Armstrong collected 21 kilograms of moon rock. Three days later, the astronauts returned safely back to Earth. This is an important event in human history. It means we can send more people to the moon and beyond. Um, 12 people have been to the moon and NASA is working to pe send people to Mars. Can you believe it? Today, children all around the world, just like us, learn about the moon landing. Right then, boys and girls, today we're going to learn about the moon landing. Yeah! Some people even think it's a big lie. It's real! It's fake! 
It's real. It's fake. It's real. It's real. Wait. <laughs> Hippity-hoppity, hippity-hoppity, hippity-hoppin' over here, Landale. Da-da-da.